All right, this is for Lucas Castro. And so the first thing that I would say right off the bat is I think it's overall a, a decent piece, but the issues that I have with it, and we're just going to go with a bright red here to, to kind of start out with. Okay, so the issues that I have right off the bat are the simple fact that um, the anatomy is a little bit screwed up here. So what I'm what I'm seeing is you've got your your initial head here, which is fine, but and then you you have your neck come down, and the problem you have is that the collarbone is way down here. Now a long neck is okay. I mean that that's that's okay to do, but if your your collarbones are like this, the first thing that I see is if when you when you cross your hand when you cross your arm over your body, you're starting to curve this collarbone a little bit. So that's that's one of the things that you want to pay attention to. And then on top of that, your collarbone is, I always look at it as like a coat hanger. And so you you basically have this draw. So your collarbone is, I think, way too far up there. So the first thing that I would say right off the bat is that you want to um, definitely go in. And I'm just going to. Actually, let's grab, let's reverse this. Grab this, and the first thing that I would say right off the bat is we're going to kind of drop that a little bit. Um, and that's the, the first thing that I would say right off the bat that you want to want to kind of do is just kind of uh, pump that away. Um, and then the second thing is, so looking at this, now that we've dropped that, um, I think that looks a little bit better. The other thing is that you want to, let's grab that red again. Um, you want to, so you've got your, your collarbone here, but you've got to curve this a little bit and then uh, add in foreshortening. So basically this uh, is going to start coming forward a little bit more. And then that is going to kind of come here and it's going to squeeze this breast forward a little bit more. So depending on how big the breast is and how much how much space and things like that, but that's one thing that you wanna you wanna look at. Um, and then uh, this one arm comes down, and I, you want to get the anatomy in there. Um, and so what I'm looking at when I look at this anatomy here, uh, especially in the arms, I look at the shoulder. Actually, um, like you've got your chest here, and then the shoulder comes up over here and like this. So this arm, I would actually see be seeing some of this come like this and it would cross over like that. And then I would see more of that curve. And then the long arm here, and then there's a four, uh, there's a muscle that comes up like this and that's gonna kind of be kind of accented like so. And then maybe a little bit of elbow on the back. Okay, same thing here. You're going to come over, this muscle comes as a striation like this, and then again the bicep, and like so, and again, get that forearm uh, um, looking okay. And then the, the problem is you've got, the, the body would twist like this, and would be slightly twist, but you'd also get this, this kind of spinal twist here. And that's going to do a couple things. First thing that's going to do is going to ride up the hip. Um, so your hip is going to be coming up like this. And you, you want to have that hip come out like this. So more foreshortening in here. And then it's going to come down here. So you'd see more of this, more of the hip come over here. And then this is a little bit more foreshortened like so. And watch how big this thigh is. Uh, the way the leg is, it's just a huge leg. So look at your proportions and things like that. Um, and so your hip is going to come over here. And again, it's going to create a little bit more crease and a little bit more bulge like so. So I, I think pushing the hip over a little bit more um, because this leg is almost a little bit too close. I would almost grab the leg and just grabbing it. I would almost move that leg, come something like that almost. Um, and I think that's going to give you a better positioning because right now looking at it, uh, right now looking at what you have, the leg 
comes in here like so and then this other leg comes in here like so so they're just they're too close together um, so I think moving this leg over is going to do a huge aspect um, so that's the the anatomy bit I would say and I'm just gonna kind of really quickly grab some of this and let's uh, quickly move some of these pieces over so we're gonna move that there and just take the brush and kind of piece this in. We're gonna make this leg a little bit smaller here. And then kind of put that leg like so. Um, and then this is gonna come in like so. This is gonna come down. Let's bring that back up. Um, and then this leg is going to more something like this. And I'm just kind of roughing that in there real quick. Oops. Let's undo that stroke there. Okay. So, and then that's, I think, a better area, a better, you know, feeling. And then maybe I would push in a little bit more of that darker shadow to get that blended in a little bit more. Um, let's clean up this, bring her arm in a little bit more, bring that white in closer and so on and so forth. And then I'll just kind of blend this in. I think this is gonna be blended in a little bit like that. Okay, so that, that being done, kind of the anatomy starts getting fixed a little bit. It's it's going to have some, some tweaks on there, I would say, uh, that you need to, to look at reference. But, so the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna pay attention to the amount of black you're using. Don't really use black on the skin. Um, never go dark, dark black because what happens is no matter how black you get, it's really disconcerting and it looks muddy when you start trying to go true black. So that being said, okay, so once you fix the anatomy, then I would I would talk to you about your painting technique. Now the painting technique is you know, you're using a good set of brushes and things like that. But the problem that you have, and this is kind of my difference here, but the problem that you have is the way your, your brushes are. Now, I'm going to show you real quick here. Um, I don't, re didn't really touch this arm at all. But you've got, and I don't have enough pixels to kind of play with it, but you've got this arm here. And so one of the things that you can do, and I'm just going to kind of, rough out this arm here one of the things that you can do is go with a softer brush and we're gonna add in and this is just my my con, uh, concept so you add in a softer brush and that's gonna soften the skin out a little bit and you can kind of blend that in and create better form than what you've got going on you've got a lot of hard hard edges and you can smooth the skin out I'm just gonna grab some of this white up here and let's grab some of that gray. So you can see how that's, that's smoothing that skin out and making it look a lot cleaner and a lot more blended. And that's what you want to do. And then think about reflection light. So you're going to have a little bit of this light coming in, especially like this pink over here, and blend in with that. And then when you get towards here, that where those reds are going to show up back over here as a reflection. So that's that's one thing to do. Now the other thing is, and I get that you want to have you want to have form in there and you want to show you know all of that information. But one of the things that you want to do is put the subtleties of how that arm you know the microforms in there. And then so once that's in there then you can go in and add the texture so then you would go in and maybe let's i'm just going to add a real quick rough texture here let's add some and we can kind of add some of that texture and once that form is in there that's when you go in and add that texture and so looking at it you can really add some nice texture in there but you got to get that microform in there. And with, with the painterly effect, it, it doesn't work quite right. Now, next thing I would say is that you want to add a little bit of tonal value in there. Um, and so what I mean by that is, uh, let's, I'm, I'm not liking, uh, 
it's still a hardness here. So I'm not liking the, I think her, her neck's a little bit too, there we go. Let's add some of that in there. Okay, so once that's done, you know, I'm just kind of adding some, some tonal value in and I'm making this look a little bit, you know, push, pushing that. And then you can add in a little bit of micro tones here, so on and so forth. Um, but what you want to do after that is you want to add in warmth into certain parts of the skin. And you started doing it in some places, but not in others. So I'm just going to create a new layer here. And I'm going to, we're just going to really quickly, let's uh, do some knees, usually the arms. And we're going to add in, and I'm going to, let's do kind of a color burn here. I'm just going to do a light burn with a low opacity. Um, we're going to do it on the breasts. Uh, let's lower that the opacity a little bit, um, probably on the cheeks a little bit, and we can add some reds in there, um, on the knuckles, on that, and wherever the skin starts bouncing back, those are all places that you want to add that secondary tone. Um, so that way you can see how, especially in the, the throat, the neck area, that way, and it doesn't have to be super thick, it's just you know, just enough to add that subtle bit of tone in there. And that'll show you how your, your scene is getting closer or your, your skin is getting um, thinner. And so those are definitely little tricks that you can do to add in your, um, your, your tonal value. Um, so then, I'm mean, just going to merge that layer. So now, as you can see, it's, it's very subtle key things that I've done, but it's fixing some of the anatomy, um, getting some of the, that tonal value in there. I'm just going to go in and let's add in kind of this let's add in something like that so that's some things that you can do and like I said it's very subtle but you can start seeing that you know, by putting the anatomy in there a little bit more, I think uh, the elbow would come down a little bit more. Um, this would come back out a little bit more. Um, you know, things like that. Um, I think those are going to help you out a little bit more. But I think you do, you have a good job of, of getting it. Just get a little bit more of the anatomy in there. Watch your proportions. Um, and then, you know, get a smoother brush going on so you can show the, the microforms and things like that. Um, and that's just what I would do. All right.